Hi there. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. This is your professor, Dr. Herbert B. Rosana. So please allow me to uh, introduce you to the Sustainable Development Goals. And my task today is to give you an orientation or perhaps a bird's eye view of what this uh, 17 Sustainable Development Goals of the UN. And uh, as I present to you the different um, Sustainable Development Goals, it is my hope and it is my expectation that you will develop certain ideas about these Sustainable Development Goals and how to integrate this into our learning activities, how to identify this in our learning activities as well, and how we can contribute to the achievement of the Sustainable Development Goals as outlined to us by the United Nations. And because this is also part of our uh, moral obligation to comply with the expectations of the international community. So welcome on board and I hope that you will have an enjoyable time listening to this orientation. What are SDGs? The Sustainable Development Goals adopted by the United Member Nation States in 2015 provide a comprehensive and ambitious framework to address the world's most pressing social, economic, and environmental challenges. The SDG consists of 17 interconnected goals and 169 targets aiming to guide global development efforts towards a sustainable and in inclusive future by 2030. This goal encompasses a broad range of issues including poverty eradication, quality education, gender equality, climate action, and responsible consumption and production. By promoting a holistic and integrated approach to development, the SDGs seek to achieve a world that is prosperous, equitable, resilient, and environmentally sustainable. The SDGs emphasize the importance of leaving no one behind and encourage collaborative action among government businesses, civil society, and individuals to create a more just and sustainable world for present and future generations. The five P's of sustainable development, as you see in the diagram, is an attempt to provide a coherent understanding of the 17 sustainable development goals. So these 17 goals are grouped into five concepts. Number one is people, meaning to say the end use of all energies must ensure responsible practices. Prosperity, ensure growth and success through sustainable practices. Peace, nurture peace consistency and by being in, uh, environment friendly. Partnership, establish harmonious relationship with Mother Nature and planet, conserve the planet Earth's natural resources for the future. SDG number one, no poverty. It aims to eradicate extreme poverty and ensure that all individuals have access to basic resources and services necessary for a dignified and fulfilling life. It recognizes that poverty is a complex issue encompassing not only a lack of income but also limited access to education, healthcare, sanitation, clean water, and other essential resources. This goal targets the most vulnerable and marginalized populations with a particular focus on lifting people out of extreme poverty or living on less than $1.9 per day and implementing social protection systems. It aims to address the multinational, uh, multidimensional aspects of poverty by promoting inclusive economic growth, creating sustainable livelihood, and ensuring social protection measures. SDG number one also emphasizes the need to empower individuals and communities living in poverty by promoting their access to productive resources, 
financial services, and social support systems. It recognizes the importance of addressing inequality and discrimination to effectively combat poverty and achieve sustainable development. Governments, international organizations, civil society, and the private sector are encouraged to collaborate in implementing policies and initiatives that promote poverty eradication, social inclusion, and economic empowerment. By achieving SDG number one, the international community aims to create a world where everyone has equal opportunities and can lead a life free from extreme poverty and deprivation. SGD number two, or Zero Hunger, is focused on achieving food security, improving nutrition, and promoting sustainable agriculture. The goal aims to ensure that all people have access to safe, nutritious, and sufficient food at all times. It addresses the challenge of hunger, malnutrition, and food insecurity that affect millions of individuals around the world. Now, SGD number two also seeks to end all forms of hunger and malnutrition, including stunting and wasting in children, and ensure that everyone has access to healthy and sustainable diet. It emphasizes the need for sustainable agricultural practices, resilient food production system, and increased investment in rural development. To achieve zero hunger, this goal encourages the promotion of sustainable farming methods, the improvement of agricultural productivity, the strengthening of food value chains, and the enhancement of agricultural infrastructure technology. It also emphasizes the importance of supporting small-scale farmers, including uh, especially women, and facilitating their access to resources, markets, and financial services. SGD number two recognizes the interconnectedness of hunger, poverty, and sustainable development, highlighting the need for integrated approaches that addresses both immediate food needs and the long-term challenge of food production and contribution. By attaining zero hunger, the aim is to ensure that no individual suffers from hunger or malnutrition, contributing to improved health, well-being, and overall sustainable development. SGD number three, which is good health and well-being. This focuses on ensuring healthy lives and promoting well-being for all people of all ages. The goal aims to address various health-related challenges and achieve universal health coverage, including access to essential health care services, vaccines, medicines, and sanitation facilities. SDG number three targets the reductions of maternal mortality, child mortality, and the burden of communicable diseases such as HIV and AIDS, malaria, and tuberculosis. It also emphasizes the prevention and treatment of non-communicable diseases such as cardiovascular diseases, cancer, and mental health disorder. To promote good health and well-being, this goal encourages the strengthening of healthcare systems training healthcare professionals, and improving access to affordable and quality healthcare services. It highlights the importance of health promotion and disease prevention through education, awareness, and the promotion of healthy lifestyle. Additionally, SDG number three emphasizes the need for global cooperation and support in addressing health emergencies, such as the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic, and in building resilient healthcare infrastructure and systems. By achieving SDG number three, the aim is to ensure that everyone can access the healthcare services they need, improve overall health outcomes, and enhance well being for individuals and communities worldwide. SDG four, quality education. It centers on ensuring inclusive and equitable access to quality education for all individuals. The goal recognizes education as a fundamental human right and a powerful catalyst for personal development and poverty eradication and sustainable development. 
SDG aims to provide inclusive and quality education at all levels from early childhood to tertiary education, including vocational training. It focuses on enhancing literacy, numeracy, and essential life skills among learners to foster their holistic development. This goal promotes equal access to education, respective of gender, disability, or socioeconomic background, and aims to eliminate disparities in educational opportunities. It emphasizes the need to improve the quality of education, enhance teacher training and support, and provide safe and conducive learning environments. SDG 4 also highlights the importance of education in promoting sustainable development, global citizenship, and a culture of peace. It encourages the adoption of relevant and gender responsive curricula, the integration of education for sustainable development, and the promotion of lifelong learning opportunities for all. By achieving SDG 4, the goal is to empower individuals with knowledge, skills, and competencies necessary to participate fully in society, contribute to economic growth, and build a more inclusive and sustainable future. SDG number five, gender equality, is dedicated to achieving gender equality and empowering all women and girls. The goal recognizes that gender equality is not only a fundamental human right, but also a necessary foundation for achieving peaceful, prosperous, and sustainable world. SDG 5 aims to eliminate all forms of discrimination, violence, and harmful practices against women and girls. It promotes equal access to healthcare, education, employment, and leadership position. The goal seeks to ensure women's full and effective participation in decision-making processes at all levels and empower them economically, socially, and politically. This goal emphasizes the importance of ending child marriage, promoting productive rights and health care, and tackling gender-based violence. It highlights the need to challenge societal norms, stereotypes, and attitudes that perpetuate gender inequality. SDG 5 also recognizes the vital role of men and boys in promoting gender equality and encourages their active involvement in achieving this goal. By attaining gender equality, the aim is to create a society where women and girls have equal opportunities, rights, and representation, leading to greater social justice, sustainable development, and overall well-being for all. SGD number six, clean water and sanitation focuses on ensuring availability and sustainable management of water and sanitation for all. The goal recognizes the importance of clean water and sanitation as fundamental human rights and essential for health, well-being, and sustainable development. It aims to achieve universal access to safe and affordable drinking water and sanitation facilities. It targets improving water quality, reducing water scarcity, and implementing integrated water resources management. The goal emphasizes the importance of hygiene practices and the provision of adequate sanitation facilities to prevent waterborne diseases. It promotes efficient water use, wastewater treatment, and the protection of water ecosystems. SDG 6 also addresses the need for international cooperation and capacity building to support developing countries in water and sanitation infrastructure development. By achieving SDG 6, the aim is to ensure that everyone has access to clean water sources, sanitation facilities, and power hygiene practices, contributing to improved health, well-being, and sustainable water management for communities worldwide. SDG number seven, affordable and clean energy, focuses on ensuring universal access to reliable, affordable, and modern energy services. The goal recognizes the critical role of energy in driving economic growth, improving living standards, and supporting sustainable development. SDG targets the expansion of access to electricity, 
particularly in low-income countries and the promotion of clean and renewable energy sources. It aims to increase the share of renewable energy in the global energy mix, improve energy efficiency, and enhance energy technology research and development. The goal emphasizes the importance of energy access to productive activities, education, healthcare, and basic services. It also highlights the need to, to transition away from fossil fuels and reduce greenhouse gas emissions to mitigate climate change impacts. SD SDG number eight, decent work and economic growth focuses on promoting inclusive and sustainable economic growth, full and productive employment, and decent work for all individuals. The goal recognizes that decent work and economic opportunities are crucial for reducing poverty, achieving social inclusion, and fostering sustainable development. SDG 8 targets the creation of quality jobs that provide fair wages, safe working conditions, and equal opportunities for all with a particular focus on young people and marginalized groups. It aims to reduce informal employment, promote entrepreneurship, and enhance productivity and innovation. The goal emphasizes the need for policies that support sustainable economic growth, investment in infrastructure, and the development of resilient industries. It also highlights the importance of social protection systems, labor rights, and access to financial services. SDG 8 encourages international cooperation and the promotion of fair and transparent trade practices to foster job creation, economic empowerment, and sustainable development worldwide. By achieving SDG number 8, the aim is to ensure decent work and inclusive economic growth that benefits individuals, communities, and economies leading to poverty reduction, social well-being, and sustainable development. SDG number eight, decent work and economic growth, focuses on promoting inclusive and sustainable economic growth. SDG nine, industry, innovation, and infrastructure, focuses on building resilient infrastructure, promoting sustainable industrialization, and fostering innovation, the goal recognizes the robust infrastructure, inclusive industrialization, and technological advancement are vital for achieving sustainable development. SDG 9 targets the development and upgrading of infrastructure, including transportation, energy, and information and communication technology. It aims to enhance connectivity, accessibility, and reliability of infrastructure systems particularly in developing countries. The goal promotes sustainable industrialization and expansion of uh, manufacturing sectors with a focus on job creation, economic diversification, and environmental sustainability. It encourages the adoption of cleaner and more efficient technologies and practices. SDG 9 also emphasizes the importance of innovation research and development in driving economic growth and addressing social challenges. It promotes the creation of an enabling environment for innovation, including access to finance, technology, and knowledge. The goal highlights the need for international cooperation and investment in infrastructure and innovation to support sustainable development efforts, particularly in developing countries. By achieving SDG 9, the aim is to build resilient infrastructure, promote sustainable industrialization, and foster innovation, leading to inclusive and sustainable economic growth, improved living conditions, and enhanced connectivity for all. SDG 10, Reduce Inequalities, is dedicated to reducing inequalities within and among countries. The goal recognizes that inequality, whether based on income, gender, disability, race, ethnicity, or other factors, hinders sustainable development and social cohesion. It aims to empower and promote the social, economic, and political inclusions of all individuals, irrespective of their background. 
it seeks to ensure equal opportunities, access to resources, and the social protection for all, particularly the most vulnerable and marginalized populations. The goals target the reduction of income inequality and implementing progressive taxation policies, promoting social and economic policies that benefit all, and ensuring equal pay for work of equal value. It also addresses disparities in education, healthcare, and other basic services. SDG 10 emphasizes the need for inclusive and participatory decision-making process, as well as the protection of fundamental freedoms and human rights for all individuals. By achieving SDG number 10, the aim is to create a more equitable and inclusive society where everyone has equal opportunities and can fully participate in social, economic, and political life, fostering sustainable development and social harmony. SDG number 11, Sustainable Cities and Community, focuses on creating inclusive, safe, resilient, and sustainable cities and human settlements. The goal recognizes the significant role of cities and urban areas in achieving sustainable development. It aims to ensure access to adequate and affordable housing, safe and inclusive public spaces, and sustainable transport systems. It targets the improvement of urban planning and management with a focus on environmental sustainability, disaster resilience, and heritage preservation. The goal promotes sustainable practices in energy use, water management, and infrastructure development to reduce the environmental impact of cities. It also emphasizes the need for participatory and inclusive urban governance ensuring the involvement of communities in decision-making processes. SDG 11 highlights the importance of creating cities and human settlements that are inclusive, resilient, and sustainable. By achieving the SDG 11, the aim is to create livable and sustainable cities and communities that enhance the quality of life, protect the environment, and promote social, economic well-being for present and future generations. SDG 12, Responsible Consumption and Production. It focuses on promoting sustainable patterns of consumption and production to ensure more efficient use of resources, reduce waste, and minimize environmental impact. The goal targets the reduction of food loss and waste, promotion of sustainable procurement and supply chains, and dissemination of information and awareness about sustainable lifestyles. SDG 12 emphasizes the importance of implementing sound environmental policies, integrating sustainability into business practices, and fostering responsible consumer behavior. By achieving SDG 12, the aim is to promote sustainable consumption and production patterns that contribute to the conservation of resources, protection of the ecosystem, and transition to a more sustainable and circular economy. SDG 13, Climate Action, focuses on urgent measure to combat climate change and its impact. The goal recognizes that climate change poses one of the greatest challenges to sustainable development and requires immediate action. SDG 13 aims to strengthen resilience and adaptive capacity to climate-related hazards, as well as to integrate climate change measures into national policies strategies and planning. It targets the reduction of greenhouse gas emission through mitigation efforts, including renewable energy adoption, energy efficiency improvement, and sustainable land use practices. The goal emphasizes the need for education, awareness, and capacity building on climate change mitigation, adaptation, impact reduction, and early warning system. By achieving SDG 13, the aim is to combat climate change, enhance climate resilience, and promote sustainable practices that contribute to a low carbon and climate resilient future for all, while safeguarding the planet and its ecosystem. SDG 14, Life Below Water, 
it focused on conserving and sustainably using the oceans, seas, and marine resources. The goal recognizes the vital role of oceans in supporting life on Earth and the need to protect and restore their health and biodiversity. SDG 14 highlights the need for international cooperation to effectively manage and conserve marine resources, including the establishment of marine protected areas and implementation of integrated ocean governance. By achieving SDG 14, the aim is to ensure the conservation and sustainable use of marine resources, protect marine ecosystems, and promote sustainable practices that support the well-being of both marine life and human communities dependent on the ocean. SDG 15, Life on Land, focuses on protecting, restoring, and sustainably using terrestrial ecosystems and biodiversity. The goal recognizes the importance of a healthy and vibrant ecosystem on land for human well-being as well as for the survival of countless planet and animal species. SDG 15 also underlines the importance of promoting ecosystems-based approaches to mitigate and adapt to climate change, as well as integrating biodiversity conservation into national and international policies and strategies. By achieving SDG 15, the aim is to ensure the health and resilience of terrestrial ecosystem, uh, preserve biodiversity, and foster sustainable land management practices, contributing to a balanced and sustainable relationship between humans and nature. SDG 16, Peace, Justice, and Strong Institution emphasizes the importance of promoting SDG 16, Peace, Justice, and Strong Institution emphasizes the importance of promoting peaceful and inclusive societies ensuring access to justice for all, and building effective and accountable institutions at all levels. SDG 16 aims to reduce violence, prevent conflicts, and promote the rule of law and good governance. It targets the reduction of all forms of violence, including homicides, human trafficking, and child exploitation. It also seeks to promote the rule of law ensure equal access to justice and protect fundamental freedoms. SDG 16 also highlights the need to foster inclusive decision-making processes, empower marginalized groups, and ensure freedom of expression and access to information. By achieving SDG 16, the aim is to promote peaceful and inclusive societies, provide equal access to justice, and build strong, accountable, institutions that uphold human rights, foster cohesion, and support sustainable development. SDG 17, Partnership for Goals, recognizes the importance of global cooperation and collaboration to achieve sustainable development. It emphasizes the need for strong and effective partnership among governments, private sectors, entities, civil society organizations, and other stakeholders. It also emphasizes the importance of strengthening the global partnership for sustainable development, including through the United Nations and other international institutions. By achieving SDG 17, the aim is to foster collaboration, cooperation, and partnership at the social, uh, national, and global levels to mobilize resources, exchange knowledge, and accelerate progress towards the achievement of all the other SDGs, ensuring a more sustainable and prosperous future for all.